Who doesn't like an egg? Anyway, Marika doesn't. But I think a lot of people yeah. don't like eggs. Yeah. I really, I really don't. I can't do it. Dead, of course. Welcome to our next segment, The Price of Rice. Yeah, of course. Obviously, it was going to be that. There are no more um, questions for me? This is... Both I'll, throw, I'll throw them out throughout the rest of the show, but for okay, now, good. it's we have to move on because we're at 15 minutes, and usually I only get 35 <laughs> minutes before Amir leaves. Welcome to mm-hmm. The Price is Rice, the only game show on the airwaves or not, where you have to guess the price of rice. These are the going rates of different grains at dollars per pound, all right? Marika, let's start off with you. Jasmine Rice. <laughs> Per what pound is the price per pound in American U.S. dollars? Um, I'm gonna go like fifty cents. Wrong. Three dollars per pound. That can't be true. I've <laughs> no, definitely bought it for far cheaper. This is a quick Google search away, and it yeah. might be price less per than pound. That. Price per pound. Yeah, rice okay. per pound. Uh, Amir, fried. You don't buy that in pounds. Um. Five dollars and fifty cents. Because <laughs> how are you going to how are you going to Google higher. this? It's gotta be higher. Because then you can wrong. Well, like a frozen seven dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> no, at a restaurant. I, I see. Think, for the you table, think? you could do like All an right. eight ounce serving and then back into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely right. Claire got the Easter egg in the game. All right, white rice. Order plain white rice. Uh, Claire, what are we? What's the going rate from a restaurant or from a grocery store? Cooked or this uncooked? This is uncooked from a grocery store. <laughs> Two twenty-five. White rice comes in as the cheapest grain rice to purchase per pound at seventy cents ish. Wow. I'd love to learn about rice. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Amir, brown rice. Here we go. This is when it really amps up. These are all worth double points. Same as the white rice. Same price. What's that? Same price as the white <laughs> rice. It's the same <laughs> option. You get the same thing. They say, do you want brown rice or white rice? Wrong, There's... man. It's obviously wrong. It's $3.35. And what was the white one? The white rice was 71 cents on the Wait, pound. it's more expensive than jasmine? No, brown rice? Yeah. Wow. Figure out no the answers. We don't trust the host. Post, <laughs> post your uh, post your resources in the episode yeah, description yeah. when this goes live. I will cite my sources. I absolutely yes. will cite my sources. Thank you, Marika Basmati mm-hmm. Rice. Let's really get into it. This is worth triple points. Claire's triple in the lead points. right now at five hundred and fifty points. You guys have zero. <laughs> of course. Um, I'll, I'll make it a little easier. I'll give you guys leeway of plus or minus fifty cents. I'm gonna go. Four dollars. <laughs> of course. Eighty cents per pound. Basmati's economical. What, I'll be honest about that. What stores? What is are this you from? talking about, Marika? <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna. <laughs> they're all different stores. I didn't want to be married to a store. We keep talking in content <laughs> meetings about needing to do branded content shows. And I don't see a wholesaler fucking sponsoring the Headgum podcast. And until then, I'm not going to be married to one store as my source. Amir, get I'm, off your phone. Sorry, I'm looking up. All your answers are wrong. I don't know where you're getting them. <laughs> Long grain rice, Claire. Long grain. Yeah. I come from a family of rice growers, so this is upsetting. My dad Correct! is sent- <laughs> That is absolutely rice, Marika. You saw my answer? Or yes, no? long grain rice. Long grain rice, okay. for sure. Um. 175. One, no, 125. <gasps> 125? <laughs> Correct! Claire's going to lead at 1,275 points. Marika has uh, coming up to second uh, at 775 points. Amir, you're still at zero. And tread lightly because you can be left with negative points. Who cares? What do you mean? <laughs> Who cares if I have negative points in the game? You just made up the game. The rules don't apply to anybody, and you're it's making It's for a cash answers. prize. Yeah, he's going to Venmo it's us for again a cash for sure. prize. So I, I think cash you rice. care now. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> I have $282.55 in my bank account as we squeak. Winner gets it all. Double or nothing if you win this last round. Which costs more? All right, this is quadruple trouble. Sticky rice? Is this rice? a speed round? This is, it's only one more question. Uh, and it's a like little bit easier. Like, who answers? Yeah. All, all of us. you guys, whoever to answer first. Okay. Okay, no, you know what? No, I'm, this is better. I'm going to make it a speed round. Whoever to answer first and closest wins <laughs> half this last round. Sticky rice. Sticky rice. 
Sticky rice, yeah. Yeah. Six dollars. What? What's that? Six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. It was five dollars fifty cents, and Claire said no, six dollars. No, that's not how this works. I way. made the game, Marika. I absolutely made the game. You don't tell me it doesn't work this way. Also, Claire is in the lead at seven thousand points so far. Marika's coming up the rear at twelve hundred points. Amir, for me on your phone, that's negative nine points. Claire said over. She guessed over. The one rule about Price is Right is you cannot go over. That's why people guess one. It's the most famous thing about Price is Right. Also, literally, the rule that you said this last round was going to be was which costs more, and you only said sticky rice. You did not give multiple options. Last round. Winner takes all. What is the price within 50 cents of forbidden rice? $8.95. We'll keep going until somebody gets it right. Seven sixty. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seven dollars. <laughs> wow, did you get so many. That's close enough. I mean, what are you gonna get say? Seven ten? <laughs> That's unbelievable. Claire wins the game. Uh, with a final score of 7,000 points. Uh, this has been The Price is Rice. <laughs> I think he's Venmoing you. Is this your Venmo? Claire Dash Slaughter? Sounds like me. No I? No. Great, that's me. Amir, how's your day going? My what? How's your day going? It soured after that game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that is fun. That is fun. This is the price of right. You guys know the price is right? Yes. Yeah. Really? It's not some esoteric show. This is one of the most popular <laughs> game shows. This is the, this is like the price is right, but it's the price of right. W R I G H T. <laughs> so, um what I'm going to do is I'm going to list <laughs> sorry. some brothers. I'm going to list yeah, cele- okay. celebrities oh, all right. right. All right. Uh and you're going to guess their net worth, Danny. Um, mm. Everybody, I don't know why I just pointed that. At it's because Danny's good at it. <laughs> all right, Bonnie Wright. All right, first of all, I am she, probably what? the worst person to ask about like random, like rich white people. And I don't know who these people are to be completely okay. honest. With I don't you. know who it is. This person play, paid, played Ginny Weasley okay. in Harry Potter. Oh yeah, got it. Okay, um, I say a strong. Sick. Before you answer, we should say that this is all for cash. This is twenty dollars for every right answer. Twenty dollars owed to me for every wrong answer. Um, a strong seven million. <laughs> you owe me twenty dollars. <laughs> what's the What's the number? Uh, I'll answer. I'll say six hundred thousand. What do you think this is, Johnny? You think Ginny Weasley only has six figures? You're shitting yourself if Bonnie doesn't at least have a couple figures. I'm sorry. Seven to eight. I'm sorry, Marty. Thoughts? How many Harry Potter movies are there? Yeah, there's a lot. It's like eight. There's, there's eight movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. Keep in mind, she was only in I think six of them. Oh, that changes everything. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven and a half. That's correct. How the no fuck way. Did you get that? You know my Instagram. <laughs> You're always requesting dollars. This time, just send them. Wow. All right. Uh, Johnny and Danny owe me $20. I owe 20 to Marty. This is unbelievable. Here we go. Rob, Robin Wright. Can you give me... All right. I need context for all of these random... <laughs> I already told you. She, I don't know their name. She played the wife in fucking House of Cards. Whew. Another show I don't watch. Uh, how, many, how many seasons of how... Is there... Is that the the show with uh, Kevin Spacey, right? She's in a lot more stuff than just what you're talking about. Like the, Marty uh, seems to know. I'm on a how this I'm on a hot go. lead. I'll give you a, I'll give you all a hint. It's higher than what you think it probably is. Uh, Thirty million. I don't. I really have no context. I have to phone a friend. That's incorrect, Danny. I'm so sorry. I hate this show. <laughs> All right, I'll aim really high. Let's say nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Two thousand <000. laughs> cash. Two thousand. 
<laughs> Liquid. <laughs> Could you imagine if I had that at the club? <laughs> People, they'd respect me. <laughs> USD. <laughs> yeah, that was funny as shit. <laughs> All right, Johnny, your actual answer? Okay. Uh, I was going to say um, $450 million. <laughs> Not that high. Oh my right? god. <laughs> She's an actor. You said it was higher than I thought. <laughs> I didn't know what you thought. I was thinking 300 million. <laughs> now you owe me $40 for this wrong oh, Jesus. answer. Jesus, Marty. 24.7 million. This is unbelievable. <laughs> it was 25, but I'll give it to you. Marty's two for two. Here we go. The Wright brothers. Now keep in mind this is adjusted for inflation, Kenny. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind they were ahead of their time. Did they end up like commercializing planes or they just start planes? I'll 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 give them a strong like in today's dollars, three hundred million. That's nowhere near. Is it a B? Is it a Billy? They get a Billy off of I mean planes are important, I guess. No. They they, they didn't invent commercial planes. You're recording planes. this from a plane. <laughs> right. Yeah. Marty, let's make Johnny go last this time. <laughs> I feel like this is an attack on me. I'm trying to give you more information. You know what? This is an interesting one. I, I really do like the Wright brothers. I don't know. Nobody was an inventor back then unless he like had the capital to do it. So they were already probably rich. Didn't need the plane, you know, to be rich, but they just did it anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go with um forty seven point eight billion. Did you say billion? Well you cut me off, so now we'll never know. It was nowhere near either of the numbers. Johnny? Is it way <laughs> lower than both the answers? I can't give you a, a solicited hint. Because I feel like I'm embarrassing myself even further by answering <laughs> these questions. Correct. I'll say, <laughs> I'll say um, 10.5 million. That's unbelievably close. It was $10.3 million in, adjusted for inflation. I'm back, baby. Johnny Let's fucking go. redeems himself. And his name is John C. <laughs> I thought you couldn't use copyrighted music. It's so short, and no one's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know Hang about on. being short? Nothing, because I'm six one, Danny. <laughs> Bruh, we can still work together if you're a strong five nine. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Wright, singer of Dreamweaver. What's his net worth? When did this come out? 1975. I feel like the music business was kind of fucked up back in the day. So maybe I don't. I'm still thinking like maybe twenty. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Danny. You're down $80. This just wasn't your game, Danny. You know? I'm not paying you a fucking penny. <laughs> um, <laughs> press the wrong button, but we'll live with it. You love TikTok, uh, right, Jeff? What's that? You love TikTok? Not to change gears, I'm just asking you a question. It seems like this uh, this Pornhub thing is like kind of a meme. Oh, there he goes. He left. <laughs> he's, he's completely left the frame. TikTok's great, yeah. But I'm asking you, this Pornhub thing is like kind of a meme thing right now, so you're just kind of not even really doing your own comedy you're just pulling other people's bits or what's the deal here yeah i mean i what i'll do is i'll get a whole basically like people will be at largo right in los angeles doing stand-up sets and like they'll be without their book so i'll see it in the green room right and i'll just nab it i'll grab their notebook and just take the ideas and two weeks later that's a headgum sketch <laughs> three weeks later that's a fucking pilot yeah what is comedy if not stealing carlos mancia uh i, I also <laughs> feel i feel bad about uh anyone who's listening to this episode with like on speakers in the home and then, like, with somebody else, and, you know, all these random porn hub, like, intro videos come on. It's like... I swear, honey. I swear, it's just the HeadGum Podcast. <laughs> you gotta hear this shit. They're so funny. Some high schooler, like, doing, like, work from home or school from home, and mom hears them. Here's a, an executive decision as a future parent, if any of you guys want to have kids. You hear the porn hub sound, like, in the living room or your kid's bedroom. Do you pop in and be like, hey, what are you doing? Or do you just kind of, like... Because that admits to them that you watch... Pornhub. I sit down and walk them through the video. <laughs> Gary Wright, net worth. What do we think? Let's just breeze through this shit. I'm rattled by the uh, that comment. Um, I don't know what. It, I already guessed. So y'all are up. I would say, well, from what I remember, there's a lot of uh, musicians in the '70s and '80s who got kind of uh, dicked over by their labels in terms of monetary compensation. So I'd say. <laughs> Right? That's every yeah. decade, every label, every musician. Really? So the, the problem hasn't stopped? People come to the show for hot takes, man. Wow. <laughs> I'm anti-label. Pro-famous, I'm Broadway Joe Namath. <laughs> nice. Dreamweaver. Uh, <laughs> I would say um, 
2.7 million. <laughs> You've Ooh. only guessed in the several hundred millions and in the low that was close. seven to six digits. That was a good guess, though, Johnny. I liked it. That, but the actual answer is $3.89 million. <laughs> I'm cleaning house today. It was oh, $10 million. God. How much is it? Ten million dollars. Where are you finding? Which site are you using? Because I feel like that one's inaccurate. CelebrityNetworth.com. That's pretty accurate, usually. Uh, Easy E. He's dead. That's not a right brother. His real name is Eric Wright, and yes, he he he. R. I. P. But at the time of his death, what was his net worth? Well, because you said the Wright brothers plus inflation, you didn't say anything about them. Yeah, because that's a century. This is only like twenty years. I mean, I think he also had issues with labels. So I would say a million. <laughs> what is this show? <laughs> Johnny, go on. Because I guessed so low last time, I'm going to say... Don't do it. <laughs> $14. That's my final answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's his real name? What's Easy es real name? Eric Wright. That's a cool name. Say 15 mil. Dude was worth a quarter bill. Eight million. All right. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright adjusted for inflation. <laughs> Who's that? Architect. I do know that. That's one older white guy I do know. Big big <laughs> Chicago influence. I don't know, bro. I mean, real estate is booming. It's always been booming. The houses are tight. I think you're going to get this one. I don't know, bro. I feel like he had a like smooth like 100, 100 M's. 150. This is the stupidest show I've ever done in my life. Huh? Dude, this is so dumb. Let's play a different game. This game sucks. Uh, 20, 24.3. That's correct. He didn't, even finish. Wow. he didn't even finish. It was twenty four. This, this is bullshit. As long as it's twenty four, I'll give you. I'll, I'll give. I, I've been giving leeway of five hundred thousand here. All right, last one. Roan, the barstool correspondent. <laughs> Drag him, Johnny. Drag him. No, Roan was the gnome de plume of Tyrone Wright, street artist from Melbourne. What? What don't you get? I just fucking spelled it out. Roan was the gnome de plume of Ty- Tyrone Wright. What does any of that mean? Roan, come on. Jeff. Yeah. Did you put tobacco in that pipe in high school? <laughs> were, you sm- <laughs> were you smoking a naked pipe or was there at least shit in there it? There was loose leaf tobacco. <laughs> okay. Would you light it or would you just, you just did it for smell or what? I would light it. I would, I wouldn't inhale. So it was for the taste. (laughs) So where were you at Um, with this, like, it was this big ass pipe in your pocket? Like, what was Yeah, where would you bring it out? This would have been, yeah, this would have been in a garage. In a garage? What? What do you mean? Other kids are just like doing like cool drugs and stuff. You're like, let me (laughs) situate and pack and prepare my pipe. And by the time you pack it in, it's like everyone's already high. Gone, I actually, actually really appreciate the assumption that there were others present. <laughs> Just sneaking from your friends to go smoke a, a pipe. <laughs> yeah, like it was me behind a Subaru Forester, absolutely alone, not only physically but also like kind of spiritually. And um, stressed out about yeah, I would pre-algebra like, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything I took was pre. Right. I never got to the real shit. Same. same. Fine. I'll give you guys all a freebie. Roan's net worth was a million dollars. That was a straight M. Thanks so, for the freebie. The slate's clean. You guys don't owe any 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 money, but I am like disappointed in all of you. You owe me money. I got a lot of them right. You got two right. You got two right. You got six wrong. So you owe me eighty dollars. No, I. Sorry, I have to respond to an email. Right now. Yeah, this seems insane. That's enough. I think we got the point. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Did what did, you, what was your intent there? What what's the what's going on? This is another segment. This is the price of Dwight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Hold explain. for what? What were you waiting for there? Sorry, one second. No, please don't play the music. <laughs> <laughs> And then Ferris, if you can mix that so it sounds like it's coming from the source audio of David, Johnny, and Amir, that'd be great. Who is- <laughs> no way. Three people? That was a full fucking canned audience <laughs> laughter. 40. 
Um, Ferris is our producer. Oh, okay. Uh, this is The Price of Dwight. Uh, have you guys heard of The Price is Right? David, you and I used yeah. to work above there. Yes, I, I know of it. Yeah. Um, basically, on that show, you guess the price of an object, and the closest one to get it gets that object or that cash or whatever. So this is The Price of Dwight, right? Yeah. You keep waiting keep for a fucking reaction that's not going to happen. Yeah, It's like, yeah, I completely agree with Amir. I'm going to list off some celebrities Dwight and you guys are going to basically what? guess what's that? What's a celebrity's Dwight? Like celebrities what's... named Dwight or who have played characters named Dwight. Okay. Is this only going to be Rain Wilson? No. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Uh, and uh, some of them are going to be salary. Some of them are going to be total net worth, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Rain Wait, Wilson's what? salary. We're doing salaries of celebrities named Dwight. <laughs> yes. Again, this is for actual cash. So if you get if you get it right, you get the amount of money divided by a hundred, let's say, because I can't really I can't afford any of this, but I could do a couple thousand. Sure. Savings. Let's for go. Sure. Go right, for Dwight. it. Rain. By the way, no, the, yep. the money thing. Yeah. Like that can't ha- like viewer listeners can't really care that much. Yeah. So, like you're only playing stakes. Like you're putting the burden on yourself to, I guess, pay us when we don't need that. I gave Caleb Harris thirteen hundred dollars, and then I had to borrow money from George to pay rent that month, and I paid him back in two weeks after that. Yeah. 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 So when I hear that, the takeaway is like that's on you. I don't feel bad. Done that. Yeah, I don't feel bad for you. Yeah. Rain Wilson's salary on the office. Um, per episode, uh, let's say. I'm going to say 350,000 an episode. Half a million. It's lower. It's 225. All right. I'm going to go even lower. Let's say 70,000. No way. Come on, Johnny, that's insulting. This man is a national treasure. Dwight is iconic. We can't have any side talk. Jesus. (laughs) No, I just don't think he's a national treasure. Like, the show is maybe two eighty five. What four, is it? Four yeah. forty. <laughs> it's a hundred thousand. It's a hundred thousand per episode. It's a nice clean number, and that's awesome. That's a lot. No, it's a yeah, lot. Yeah, it seems low. Twenty it in does. a season, let's say. That's two million dollars. Yeah, but you got to think in the height of like Friends, they were making a million an episode. I think Dwight was. Uh, not quite there, but like to think that he was getting half that seems possible. I would say the same. Where do you find that? Google. Yeah, I might have started there and then gone up. Yeah. Dwight D. Eisenhower's salary as president of the United States. Annual. $200,000. Uh, Keep in mind, are we this adjusting is for inflation? To ni- What's that? Are we adjusting for inflation? Uh, no. I'm going to say $85,000. Okay, just tell us. <laughs> I'm going to stick to my guns. $70,000? $100,000 a year. Um, okay. So basically a 20th of what Rain Wilson made, which is kind of crazy because what's just more important, playing Dwight Schrute or being the leader of the free world? Do, a new, do another one. Dwight Howard's salary this season. $100,000. Uh, <laughs> I see where you're going with that, though. And yep. I did wonder if somebody was going to go that route. Amir, you should know this. I believe he signed the vet minimum one year, is? two point three million. Absolutely correct. Nice. That was really good. That's uh, good job, Amir. So what's two point three million divided by a hundred? No, you said divided by ten, didn't you? No, I said a hundred. No, he said a hundred. Ferris, play that back. Yes, no, no, no. I have it divided by a hundred. Let's say because I can't really, I can't afford any of this. Uh, it's twenty three thousand. Really? Yep. I thought it would have been tenth 20. is two hundred thirty thousand, yeah. and then a tenth of that is twenty three thousand dollars. That is, that will ruin me. Yep, I don't have that. Find it. Yeah. So don't give it. You don't. You don't have to offer it. He already offered it. Dwight Fair. Yoakam's net worth. <laughs> Who is Dwight Yoakam? He's an American country singer. Okay. Net worth four million dollars. Uh, one point five million. Five million dollars. 
That's fifty million dollars. Fifty million dollars uh, USD uh, as of twenty twenty. Uh, let's go, Dwight L. Moody. Who's that? He is wait the Dwight, Dwight Yoakam, a country star that none of us had heard of. Is this, his net worth is fifty million dollars? We're, we're not plugged into that scene. I bet ha- like a couple people listening to this love Yoakam. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Dwight L. Moody. Who's, Who's that? that? He's the founder of the Moody Church. He was an evangelist who lived in Northfield, Massachusetts in the 19th century. So are you saying his net worth or the church's net worth? He, well, it's, it is one and the same, but let's go his. $100 million. That was the dumbest guess I've ever fucking heard. He started a church. Those things are cash cows. Not a mega church. Grabs. When was he alive? <laughs> This was, well, uh, I can get, you want the exact years? Because that might actually. No, it just might be a rough error. Or give me a decade. Uh, this would have been the 19th century. He was born in 1937 and he died oh, right before the turn. Yeah, you're right. That was a dead giveaway. <laughs> um, I would uh, say uh, $2 million. Johnny? Um, let's go $1 million. I think it's zero dollars, right? He did it for the love of Christ. Like he skirted by for sure. And he lived in his parents' house. Dwight Morrow. Who's that? He was an American businessman and the ambassador to Mexico during the Coolidge and Hoover administrations. Um, And what are we, what are you asking us for? His net worth. Currently. Well, he's dead, but at the time of his death. I can't imagine not adjusted for public inflation record. or adjusted. Where do you find this one? This one would have been Google. Uh, fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> His net worth was fifteen thousand. He, he was a businessman and then an ambassador. Like he was he, the he became, last guy. The last whites. His net worth was zero, <laughs> and you told us to that like a mic drop. Like you just tricked all of us. So I'm sorry if I'm trying to adjust my gameplay. Yeah. Two million dollars. A hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand. There's no way this could be part of the game. <laughs> Listen to you. This is ridiculous. Tell us the amount and move on. This Ten million dollars adjusted for inflation. It's one hundred fifty million dollars. Okay, let's just move on to the next segment. It feels a little stagnant now, and the music playing isn't really helping. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's also funny. You can tell the sign. It- Sorry, there's a delay on that one. I hit it before you start talking. The sign of a good game is when you reveal the answers, and it's just complete silence. By all of the guests. Yeah. Like nobody cares who this random guy's yeah. fake salary was adjusted for inflation. Go yeah. find you, yourself. You, yeah. You added that like it was going to be like, whoa, wow. it's that much money. It's like, <laughs> holy we shit. Don't know I can't who believe that. Yeah. If anything, that's like a cool fact about inflation, but like it doesn't yes. matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter not. how much money this dead man has. Like the 12th, the 12th Dwight. On this game, it's like, oh my, yeah, who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's actually a good note. I think I maybe overdid it with the Dwight segment. Um, <laughs> it's the first yeah, time yeah. I've ever heard you be introspective <laughs> about this train wreck. <laughs> okay, what are we moving on to? Sorry, I had to respond to an email. Here we go. Don't you respond to an email. <laughs> Welcome to The Price of Right. (laughs) All right. Here we go. (laughs) Sorry, one second. (laughs) Do you know that we did play this game? No, this is different. This is different. This is the price of right. This is the price (laughs) of right. 
Just give me a fucking minute. Yeah, I feel here like we, we go. did play this game. No, this All is the, the price right. Into each other. <laughs> uh uh. Oh. Are you guys seeing this? Oh, oh we really okay. are. Right. All right. This is the price of right. Turn off. Yeah. Welcome to the price of right. Oh my. Fuck. I can't like keep track of any of the shit on my desktop. I feel like everybody's out to get me today. <laughs> you do look like you're extra paranoid. <laughs> it's like your somehow. own problem. <laughs> you okay. can't keep track of your shit. All right, here we go. This is the price of right. Basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna show some products from Rite Aid for <laughs> those only listening to the oral version of this. Uh, but luckily, we do have some visual listeners and viewers, I should say, uh, watching along here who are seeing these products on the screen live on air. Um, so, <laughs> Price is Right rules, uh, and we're just going to go through some uh, Rite Aid products and see if you guys can kind of know what they cost. Uh, all right. Rite Aid hyd Hydrogen Peroxide Topical Solution. How many ounces? This is going to be the, the full quart, the 32 Ooh, fluid ounces. One. Yeah. 198. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. What do we do? That Everyone seems cheap. else guess. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> this get, is I'm fucked. Get... Okay. Yeah. And, we're, and again, it's closest without going over. It's closest without <laughs> going over. Yeah. I'll go above both of those things and say 899. Marika no is yeah, obviously correct. incorrect. Incorrect. Wow. I all lost. I thought I, that this was. Too I almost said ninety nine, but I thought that was too low for the court. I thought it would be like yeah. a sixteen ounce. There. That's cheaper than water. Yeah, which is kind <laughs> of shocking. Truly cheaper than water. And <laughs> How is a chemical cheaper than water? That doesn't make sense. Did you guys I guess ever? Water is two chemicals: <laughs> hydrogen. Nice. <laughs> Dioxide, as it were, so. <laughs> He's grumpy. Although the hydrogen peroxide is probably more than one chemical, too. So I guess price yeah. per molecule, you're getting the best. I really should start drinking this. Um, let's read the review, because it has one review. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Great product, okay. great price. I mean... You're not beating. There's no way they're making a profit from this. The bottle alone, plus the packaging, getting it to the store. There's uh, this is a loss Sorry. leader. They call it. <laughs> Sorry, this says the review says we used to get blood of cloth, or we use this to get <laughs> blood of cloth. It is amazing at taking out protein stains. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> uh, unfortunate, but. You know, Brian is dealing with his own shit, I guess. What's the unfortunate is you. What? What's unfortunate <laughs> is you. Ow. Let's fucking move on. Here all we right. go. Okay, we're having fun, but all right. We're doing work. <laughs> the next product is True North Almond Pecan Crunch. <laughs> 399 Now all we're right. like veering off into... Uh, that weird Trader Joe's game that you play. Which I would have loved to play, and I'm Over really video. upset. I'm yeah. really upset that I didn't get to play that. Because I'm, I'm so a, a Trader Joe's snack master. Yeah. Did you were a some snack. of those new to you, or did you all did you know those all? Some of them some of them were new, but I knew a lot of them. Did you Got know it. the the grilled chicken in a bag or whatever? That one that one is I did not know. Okay. I used to for my old job, I used to have to go to Trader Joe's every week and yep. uh get four shopping carts worth of food and check it. out yeah and like a, a shopping cart full of milk and check out and then like go back and it would get delivered later uh so i know a lot of the trader joe snacks yeah johnny participate <laughs> jesus talk on it? the mic or don't do the show marika is still <laughs> going on and on about what whoa she, what? whoa 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, don't, you, what we can't Marika let him do? break us up here. This is what he fucking wants. <laughs> All right, Marika's he's trying to right sow here. Discord. <laughs> Marika said three ninety nine for the to the True North Almond Pecan Crunch. Let's go, Johnny. I'm gonna go two ninety nine. Okay, and the way you said that is worthy of that. Uh, and then Amir, let's good? just let's get your vote in or whatever. 
I'll go higher than both of those things and say 549. Mm. Rika saves the day. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Well, Johnny, Very affordable. Does Johnny win? Because he got it exactly. Wait, Johnny, you said 299? I thought you said 499. No, I didn't say four. Murky, can we get two. can we get a number crunch on that? What am I crunching? It's right there. It's right. In I front told of your face. you. I told. I gave <sighs> up my point to Johnny. Okay, and we should say that this is it's Price is Right rules, and that if you go over, you lose. But it's also Price is Right, Price of Right rules, where every for every one you get right, you get that cash. So Johnny's winning with two ninety nine. Uh, here we go. Great. The next product is. Joy and Trampoline <laughs> Sprinkler. What? It's a sprinkler. That you put on your trampoline. Or some shit, yeah. I'd actually, no, I don't think that you put it on a trampoline. I'm pretty sure that it, like... <laughs> Click on that image at the bottom. We could see other images. Yeah, let's see the oh, other Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Oh, there you go. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I'm familiar with these. Yeah, that's fun. That's a lot of fun for the kids. <laughs> so dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to um, go... Well, Marika shouldn't always get first. It puts All you right. at a disadvantage. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Switch the order. So I'll go first this mm. time. Not that I've actually used the last bid to my advantage because I've always overguessed it. So I would say something like one thing and then I'll divide it in half because Rite Aid is the fucking, I guess, goat of affordable shopping and say $12.99. All right. All right. Nineteen ninety nine. As in, let's party like it's nineteen ninety five. No, <laughs> Johnny, get your guess. Gonna, in, let's fucking do it. I'm gonna say uh, sixteen ninety nine. Something that dangerous is gonna be cheap. Marika takes the wow. cake. This one is more expensive than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, at this point, you might as well just get 40 hydrogen peroxide bottles, right? <laughs> Here we go. Same this price. Expensive. The next, the next fucking item is a, a very chuggy home decor item for fall. It's a, it's a cartoon fox, and it says it's a sign, and it says "Thank Gord, it's sweater weather." <sighs> so Johnny first this time. <laughs> Let's go Johnny Villa first. All right, uh, I'm gonna shoot for six ninety nine. Okay. Ricky, you want to go? Um, or I can go. It's a little harder to go second. So I'll say eight ninety nine. All right. And I'll say nine ninety nine. Mm. All wrong. Three wow. forty nine. And it's I was on right on the regular price. Right. Though. It's on sale. I was right regular price. Wow. Oh, wow. I know my chuggy items. Yeah. All right. And the next item is. Joven sex appeal for men <laughs> fragrance to wear. <laughs> Whoa, what is that fragrance, honey? <laughs> oh, I'm going Joven tonight. <laughs> What's that? Joven? It's next to the hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> A European dance pop anthem comes on and you just kind of shimmy. That's the commercial the for Joven. On the package says sex appeal. Now you don't have to be born with it. <laughs> the bottom line says men can never have enough. Everybody, everybody. Uh, let's go Joven sex appeal for men. I have no clue, but I will guess nine ninety nine. All right, eight ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Such a yellow cologne. I'll that, choose. That's the Joven difference. <laughs> it looks like a Neutrogena soap. It contains, it's somehow, <laughs> it's bottle gel. Yeah, it's, it's as thick as shampoo, <laughs> shampoo <laughs> that you have to sort of lather on your neck and face. <laughs> it's amber. Are you Terrible. okay, Jeff? What is that? What are you microdosing there? Yeah. Post LASIK <laughs> drops. You know the drill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny, let's get your answer in so we can I'm keep gonna this game say, going. Uh, 17. 17. All right. Oh, he's going high. And the winner is... Amir. Amir. Nice. So, uh, Marika's winning with 1999. Amir has 1539. And I think Johnny has like 299 or some horse shit. The next item is Kaus... Caltrate Bone Health Minis. 
<laughs> minis. <laughs> yes, the old ones I found a little bit too large. Yeah, and in charge. You do need to take two of them, though, so it amounts to the same amount of zinc. Calcium pills are big. All right. As someone that has a yeah. hard time swallowing pills, it's yeah. rough out here. And as someone and who also has a like hard usually time rough. swallowing shrill. Yeah, you didn't have to say that. Yeah. I was going to mm-hmm. say that yeah. calcium pills are usually, they're never like a gel tab. It's always yeah. like that rough sort of mm-hmm. condensed chalky, powder. Chalky and for density. some reason, you Sorry, have to take talking. three of them that <laughs> yeah, are way just too saying, big. I was adding to it. Yeah, actually, the Caltrate minis sound like a really good plan. Yeah, I might pick these yeah. up at Rite Aid. Might have to cop. Uh, all right, who's going first? Um, you. I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll go thirteen forty nine. Ooh, that's a yeah, that's a pretty safe bet. Not really. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> as the host of the show, you really can't editorialize sorry, sorry, after. Sorry, it. Sorry, yes. sorry, 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 yeah. You said it yourself. No one to self edit, right? Got <laughs> 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 I'm a fucking maestro. I'll go six. This is Dudamel conducting the LA Phil sometimes. Yeah, I was going to say 649. You fucking maniac. And delusions Marika? of grandeur. No, I have delusions of blandeur. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning if I was a maestro of this show, that's not even that much. It's like dream bigger if you're going to be delusional. Yeah, Marika already guessed, so I guess yeah, Johnny's Johnny. Boss. Yeah, I'll guess... Uh, these are 150 tablets. They're also easy to swallow. So I'm gonna go for 18. Wow, big boy bet. <laughs> You're all wrong. It was 12.99. I said oh. 6.49. You said 6.49? Yes. Yeah. Holy shit. That's Amir absolutely the highest without going over. Actually, kind of the head. Uh, Marie, uh, no, Amir's in the lead with uh, twenty-eight dollars ish. The next product is the Satisfier Groove Bullet Vibrator. Can we see the packaging? Yeah. Kind of fancy. Oh, that's trendy. Kind of fancy, yeah. (laughs) Imagine pulling up to Rite Aid, you get the bullet groove and a bottle of Jovan. (laughs) (laughs) Johnny? Guess faster. We have another uh, segment to get to, and I have sorry. a meeting in 12 minutes. You have to sort of like guide it as the MC. First guess, second guess, guess, third I'm guess. I'm your guess. I'm your guess. And remember, it's like, Johnny, tell him what he's won. You got a Johnny on the Zoom right now. Yeah. You got to use the catchphrase. Actually, download it, edit it, and put it in <laughs> soundboard <laughs> while I sort of wax and wane about the potential cost of a bullet groove vibrator. Um, this is well no Johnny you should really be the one to know I feel like you would know this of all people in terms of like a voracious sex life okay I feel like the sex appeal uh, plus this bullet vibrator will total $50 so I'm going to stick with 35 I don't even know the price but it's definitely not that let's get Marika on the horn uh, I'll go twenty nine ninety nine. That's a good guess, Amir. Just say a dollar, right? Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Thank you. All right, Amir. <laughs> wow. Actually, you were all wrong. <laughs> affordable. The next one yeah, is Nicorette lozenges. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, I'll go with. Twelve ninety nine. Okay, Johnny, go fast, 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 Michael fast, Smith Klein, fast, 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 Satisfier Kegel Trainer. Okay, now we know that they're cheap. They're and basically trendy. Benoit balls. <laughs> Speaking speak of the fucking devil, Billy Scafuri just uh, DM'd me. Should we call? <laughs> should we phone a bill? No, no. Wait, why speak you're, of the the bill? You're you asking if we should name. we should he, prolong he, this <laughs> segment that you're asking us to speed up with. Billy got mad at me because I insinuated that he should buy Benoit balls for his betrothed. Mm-hmm. Fast, Johnny, guess. 
Twelve ninety nine. Amir. It looks like just plastic, so I'll go seven ninety nine. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Marika. Uh, seven ninety eight. That's gonna be Marika. Wow. Actually, Johnny got it. Oh, let's oh my go. God. Uh, I know my key. It was trainers. the two count. It's because it's the two count. Mm-hmm. And All finally, right. cheese eggs and. Welch's grape. Nice. Welch's grape juice. Yubbish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going through some shit right yeah. now, man. Uh, I'm kind of worried about you. It is two ninety nine. Yeah. So, oh wait, no, it's not. Nope. <laughs> oh my. Three forty eight. How dare you? <laughs> Uh, I'll go 550. <laughs> All right, that's wrong. <laughs> it doesn't matter because this whole thing was winner takes gall. Uh, Amir wins with 78 fucking euro. Let me Venmo your ass. <laughs> euro. Do not, because then I have to return it, and it's just work for me. Everything you give me is a responsibility. But what about the uh, the fucking chowder? Yeah, the chowder was annoying too. My garage smelled like fish for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> These are essentially noise canceling headphones. <laughs> I have no idea what you two are just talking about. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not because of the music. There's just things covering my ears. It's kind of like you're at a loud bar and people are talking. I wish I could. I can't make yeah. out a word here. What? It's like you're at a loud concert and people are talking. You like can't quite hear what they're saying. Again, you're gone. Yeah. I do hear the music. Yeah. Price is right. Welcome to the price of Christ. Uh, this is the price of Christ. Christ? Do you guys know Christ? No. Okay, now I can hear you. It's uh, K R E I S S. Dude, yeah, my friends. That's my friend's uh, family's business. Are you kidding me? The furniture business. Jesus. So you better be good at this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who's your friend that runs? He, is his name Christ? You know Nick Christ? He used to run Punked. No. Yeah, he used oh to run God. Punked, and he was like worked with Ashton Kutcher a bunch. Wow. Oh, yeah. So this is his family's, family's furniture. furniture. It's like a Goliath. Wow. It's like restoration hardware level, pretty fancy, pretty expensive. Although I don't want to give you too many hints because this is the price of Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to show you various pieces of furniture. Keep in mind, this is all aftermarket. Oh, what does that mean? It means it's being sold secondhand. Okay. So it's not going to be retail. And so uh, you bought it from them and now you're selling it and you want to see how much you <laughs> charge for it. <laughs> I got it at retail slash ad nauseum because I was sort of in a frenzy. I was, uh-huh. couldn't get enough of Christ. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, I need to fucking free up some cash. So this is going to be uh, the price of Christ. Uh, this is for actual cash. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so for every right answer, it's let's say 25 bucks because I can swing that. Okay. For every wrong answer, it's 25 owed to me. Which is kind of fucked up that yeah. I kind of begged for your time and right, we're not going to pay you out of um, no chance. Never. It is price of Christ rules, so uh, you know Close closest without guess. Going over. Yeah. Without okay. Going over. Uh, here we go. Do not look at my screen, please, because mm-hmm. I do have this. The price. I'm going to tilt my thing. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we, <laughs> this is uh, two lounge chairs with an ottoman. Certainly is. This looks old. Very. Like, this is like from the early 80s. And it something. also looks weathered, as if like various generations of family also, members have already sat on what it. What's the, t- like the top one is so dark, it's almost like, <laughs> it's almost fake. Like there's hints of blue, but the rest of it is just this matte black the, chi- tar. the seats are leather. Leather? Leather. Yeah. That's awful. <laughs> there are leather seats and fabric. It's not awful, it's Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, That's their official terrible. slogan that I've been pitching to them. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so what do we think? For the I'm whole hoping, set? For the whole set. Sold as a set. Uh, $8.99. Yeah. Uh, $899? Yeah. I'm going to say 16 flat. 1600 flat. Wow. See, uh, but one of you can't just be right. So I'm going to say, let, let's say with, it has to be close enough, but without going over. So okay. this is being sold on first dibs for $5,800. Oh, it's because oh. of leather seats. Really? I, I, what is it? It looks. This looks awful. 
Yeah, it's pretty but, bad. But uh, I guess that's Christ for you. It looks so. like the absence of seat. Oh, that's Here a brown go. old couch. Yeah. Is that the friend's couch? That's a that's Central Perk. Yeah, that's Central Perk. <laughs> it's a deep, deep leather. Yeah. That is a deep uh, We're looking at a three-seater, roll arm, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it might be a polyester cotton blend. With, uh, uh, imagine so. us correcting you. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't correct you. Faster though. Let's get through these. Sixty four hundred dollars. Sixty four hundred dollars. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I was so off on the last one that I'll say nine 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 nine. So almost ten thousand. Mm. That one was eighteen fifty. Eighteen hundred. Yep. So I won. I was said I high. You was said nine 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 nine. That's almost ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> He's right. He's right. <laughs> Every so often. Glass coffee table. I fainted through one of these once. This is through it. Through it. Wait, and my mom. Found, and my mom found me. Wait, what? Oh my god! Got so up too shattered? fast. This is how I found out that I have to eat more sugar. I have low blood sugar. And when I was a little kid, I got up too fast, and then I just went down. I went right through the table like you know, a wrestler. Any scars? Uh, no cuts. That and my mom didn't like process it. She was mad about the table when she yeah. got home, and then an hour later, she just broke down in tears. Like she suddenly realized everything that could have just happened. Wow. Yeah. Really scary. They say like get up too fast, but everyone gets up at roughly the same speed. It's mm -hmm. not like you're now getting up slower because of that. It's almost like there has to be the other issue things is different. going on. The issue is different than the speed at which you're getting up. Yeah, that's usually the like the thing that like tips it. I yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, I fainted through one of these. Alert. It's not enough to just say something in an interesting tone. You have to have substance to what you're saying, and I think that one of us here could really learn from that. <laughs> and that is you because you say wisdom every eighth word. What do we think? Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Looks like good glass. Okay. This is totally not my aesthetic. I don't no. like this like thick metal gothic. I'm zero for three it's on, the on the furniture. Four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yeah. Casey, would you put this in your house? No, not at all. A four second pause. Fourteen ninety nine, you said. Yeah, four nine nine. I'm gonna give that to Amir. It's five forty four. Five hundred forty four dollars. So that's twenty five dollars in Amir's pocket. That pays for the uh, the fucking hot dog you ate this morning. <laughs> the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hot dog. It was a hot dog. <laughs> it was not a hot. It did have the spirit of hot dog though. It was a long, thin <laughs> turkey Gruyere croissant, which it was a yardstick. It was a yardstick. A unit of measurement. Sandwich. We should go to I finished uh, it. yard house. <laughs> <laughs> the downtown sports bar? The what? <laughs> Nothing. Next. All right. Um, <laughs> for that why hot did you dog. choose this game? Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not even trying to be a, a mean Christ. bully, but like, what? Christ. But he, how Price. Does... He ran into the word Christ. Oh, it was, okay. And then he wanted to do Price of Rice Got sequel, yep. Price of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this, this is just awful. Oh, cool. Awful. A haunted bed frame. Yes. How much for this haunted bed frame? I have trypophobia. I don't know if you guys have that. It's like the fear of holes. Oh, yeah. Mm. I hear that's not an actual real thing. If you search for it, that's not an actual phobia that um, is like classified as an official <laughs> fear. I don't know what you have, but um, it's not that. <laughs> but like I've heard that before. He needs this. He it's needs like, this. It's like a leaf that has like a bunch of like dots in it because uh, and like insects have eaten it. Yeah, that triggers some... it. Oh no! Sorry. <laughs> Eight hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. <laughs> Holy shit! Nine sixty one. So why are you so excited? Like he nailed it? Cause he kind of did. Not really. I was closer with my last one. He's sixty dollars off. You act like he absolutely spiked the right price. <laughs> I just am excited to give out money. Okay. I love sharing. Yeah. Oh, awful. Pirates. Oh, these are treasure chests. These are sorts. Gorgeous set of nightstands. <laughs> nightstands. I mean, Jesus. the drawers on the front, the they side. They really it looks combine like a, a lot of light and dark materials oh. in some of these. It's so heavy looking. It looks like a, a, it's a, just a mummy. Christ. A mummy. Yeah, that is. Buried That's a tomb. In there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is an Egypt. So, how much for the Egyptian tomb? Um, is there a $1,900. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Billy? Uh, I'm going to price that up. I'm going to say $4,200. <laughs> Twelve fifty. Here we go. We're running out of time. Here we Where go. Where are you finding these prices if they're aftermarket? 
right next to the image. That's why I had to go aftermarket because but Christ is so expensive. What website are you using to search aftermarket Christ furniture? First dibs, Kyo, <laughs> Cherish. The sorority? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I drove back down to USC and just asked them how much money was in their living room. <laughs> Awful, awful stuff. Love the legs. Marble on top of cement. It's kind of the so opposite thick. of Jeff's legs. Everything yeah. here like is thicker heavy and the lower small. you go down. Yeah, exactly. That looks like it weighs a couple tons. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Like real tons. And then let's get Marble your... top? Marble top. Okay. It's even more weight. Um, Amir, you got to guess? I'll say $1,999. That's what I was going to say. Really? All right. You're both wrong. $1,400. <laughs> what? Fourteen hundred, and here we go. What is that? <laughs> I knew you were gonna say what those is exact that? Words. That's a That's bad. That's why frame. I show this image because I had your fucking voice in my head. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a fucking sled. What is that? That's either a bed frame or it is a magazine book holder. It's a sled frame. A it's sled, the frame? sled frame. So you put your sleds in there? No, it's a, just a bed frame. Uh, it looks disgusting. It looks like something out of... Uh, that's was the gonna... wrong angle to take the photo. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the primary <laughs> image. <laughs> You can't, t yeah, that could be the size of a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Do you like yeah. to sleep in the shape of the letter V? Or then we, big do we enough. have the bed frame for you? Yeah, you can't tell. You need the other angle. Uh, Unless you sleep in it like a taco. Oh, interesting. Right. If you that's like cool. sleep across it as if it's almost like a bun. That's really mm. I think that's the only way you're sleeping in that bed frame. It's a and bow. If, it's a bow. It's a steam <laughs> bun. A bowed, a bow bed. A bowed a bed. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's just too quality to be cheap. I'm saying and it's, it's big and leather. That's leather? Yeah. It's leather on the I would say it's so. not it wood. Looks like leather. All well, right. there's wood and then there's the the tan part of it's it. It's only leather. interesting to talk about it for so long before you put in a guess. Yeah. You made the game, so we're going to take our time. <laughs> $3,000. Uh, I'm going to quadruple that. 12K. Wow. <clears throat> Twelve or $2,630. Got it. Yeah. So, I mean, you can pull out of this game too. Okay. You can just like move up. Move Two us. big concrete balls. Dice. Yeah, big big blocks. Dice. Big blocks. Two big dice. Big blocks shot in a just a void of a world. Five hundred dollars yeah. each. Like they don't show you where in the living room you could put these massive uh, cement cubes. Yeah. A house filled with this furniture is no home for me. <laughs> I know what you mean. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a hundred dollars. And I'm I know what you mean. That's three thousand yeah. dollars. I said five hundred each. That's... I'm realizing that people listen to this as a podcast as well, so yeah. they're not like seeing any of these beds or dice or. Frames. Well, we've been sort of corporately forced to make it a video podcast, so interesting. Just watch it on YouTube, but, fuckers. But is this <laughs> the best approach? What's that? Is this the best approach to making a video experience? Like, what? Oh. You have two seasoned performers here. Mm. You know, you could probably just have us like be and and uh, exist together, as opposed to, you know, knowing that. Some the price of dice. Yeah. The price is dice. Did it. Did it. How much is the price of these Christ dice? $3,000 for the set. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take one for the price of a MacBook Pro, please. I am peeking over at Jeff's computer right now, and he has a buffering side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kind of worked out timing-wise. Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, looks, looks like there's a, there's a picture of something called Ready Ice, and then there's like some picture to the right of it which is part of that picture or something it's kind of <laughs> glitching yeah yeah welcome to the price of ice yeah okay um price is right rules price of rice rules uh basically we're going to be guessing the price of ice um and um that's it so can I guess? Okay. Yeah, what do we think? This is seven pounds of ready ice. Let's see. Uh, $3.99. $3.99? Yeah. Kidding me with that? Marika, you're better than that. You're better than that, man. Kidding me? Stop. <laughs> Let <laughs> No. Let other people yeah. guess. Yeah. You're it's, leading us. You said on. it's price is right rules. <laughs> and <Johnny>. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw a temper tantrum yeah. on the screen. <laughs> Drew Carey never threw a hissy fit because he did something wrong. Johnny? Uh two fifty-nine. Okay. Amir? Uh four ninety-nine. 
That's gonna be one twenty nine because it's only seven pounds. That's, so. that's a lot of that's a lot of water. Yeah, yeah that's a lot. Like, think about how much natural... how much that would cost if it was water. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 20, 30 Smart bucks. water is already you're a liter of that. There we go. All right, what is, is a shaved ice? What What's the hell in here? That's going to be party ice. Um, party ice. It's 20 pounds. What is party ice? 20 It's party sized ice, I think. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I told myself this one now. There we go. <laughs> You told it just looks what? like a bag of snow. <laughs> I really need to know what kind of ice I'm dealing with. Because if it's like crunchy ice, if it's like a Sonic ice, mm, mm, that's mm, a whole other mm, ball game. That's mm, like premium mm, ice. Mm, mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that would just name your price of ice. How many? 20 pounds? 20 pounds. Fucking, I don't know, 750. Okay. Johnny? I'd say uh, three bucks. Okay. Ammer? Uh, 301. Hmm. Correct! That's going to be 529. Bryce is right rules. Amir was the closest. Here we go. Arctic Glacier Premium Ice. 20 pounds. Fucking hell. (laughs) (laughs) What did you think would happen? Yeah. (laughs) You don't get to make the game and begrudge it. This is because of you. Uh, I won I last round, like the, so I'll I want to know price. what the ice looks like. This yeah. is just a bag of ice that's we not know the weight. translucent. Since it's premium, I'll go high, eight ninety nine. Mm-hmm. It's gonna go fucking six dollars. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Jesus, you broke Marika. You realize how hard that is. <laughs> I to love do. ice, and she loves it's one of my games. favorite subjects. Yeah, yeah. John, uh, seven bucks. Go in the middle. Marika, it was five ninety nine. You're off by wow. a penny. Arrowhead premium Who ice, cares? seven pounds with a resealable bag. <laughs> <laughs> this is a premium bag. Yeah, I mean they're all roughly between two Fucking and seven dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> I'll go ninety nine. One ninety nine. Yeah, he surely gets 99s. I'll say 250. Amir gets it. It was an, it was 199. Wow. <laughs> Very good. So I won. According to who? This is the other Instacart. thing. Instacart. Yeah. All of these different ices are on one Instacart. Yes. <laughs> That's insane. You can do a flight. <laughs> one of each. How much yeah, more do we have just so we know? There's seven more slides. Oh my god! I don't know what shaped ice this is. <laughs> Cubes, I think. But no, this is like dollar store. No ice. way. No, no one sells c- full cubes of ice. Ten pounds. Guess name your price of ice. One ninety nine. Two dollars. Two dollars. Wow. Oh, okay. Two fifty. 250. Johnny takes it. 15 fucking dollars. Why? I what? don't know. This, 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 this is, I hate this game. I okay. want to know what this ice looks like. <laughs> and you're just showing me bags. There weren't secondary photos if that makes you feel better or worse. It doesn't. You should have Here we found go. some fucking 399. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. I actually cool. really do love Luigi's real Italian ice. Miss uh, those. Uh, what the fuck? Seven. Uh, six ninety nine. Okay, Johnny. Uh, two seventy nine. Marika, what was your guess? Three ninety nine. Marika takes it. Six dollars ten cents. Um, inflation's crazy, man. <laughs> Smirnoff Ice. 19. This is definitely. 99. Party 10, like 99. Marika, was that a dig at my employment status? What? Oh. Marika said 1099. Oh, 1099. Yeah. Obviously not. <laughs> I'd say 15. Johnny takes it. 16.99.
Welcome to the Price Alt Right. Um. So, the name of the game is the Price Alt Right. Basically, what I'm going to do with all the talk of the uh, you did know, you just get Photoshop? Because you've been photoshopping more recently. <laughs> The gash cab, the price alt right, <laughs> the Instagram it's, posts. It's all yeah, the Instagram. Yeah. It's I'm all new. Trying to put some more effort into the show. I love it. Yeah. Um, the it's called the price is alt right. The sorry, effort's the... nice, but the output doesn't seem worth yeah. it. It's funny that the CBS logo is still there. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice that you're trying, but <laughs> it's a big CBS day on the podcast. We're really celebrating it. Yeah, yeah. the mm. eye, and the eyes have it. CBS <laughs> gave paid me the most. In my life ever, so uh-huh. I, I feel brand loyalty. And you've worked oh, wow. here for many years in comparison. Well, yeah. 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 Um, anyway, price alt right, the price alt right. Mm-hmm. Um, the idea is there's been a lot of talk in the news recently about, uh, you know, the more higher ups uh, that were involved and in, at fault for the January 6th insurrection and attempted coup. Uh, but what about all the people that were there, the rioters who are currently in jail? Mm-hmm. Which um, I'll remind everyone was not me, like you tried to <laughs> say on a previous yeah. episode. Well, I wouldn't talk with too much freedom about it because you might end up locked into litigation. Uh, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to present you uh, a rioter. I'm going to tell you what they did. <laughs> and then Price is Right rules, you have to tell me how many... How long their sentence is in months. Okay. okay. This is for actual cash. Are we calling them rioters or patriots? Oh, my God. Holy shit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> really I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everybody here. Nice. Um, here we go. Our first con- uh, mm, contestant, coat. in a wow. way. <laughs> uh, this is Robert Scott Palmer. Uh, He hurled wooden boards and an extinguisher at police officers. Mm. Uh, What do you think this sentence is? Is this a sentence served in jail or is it something else? Uh, Jail. Okay. Nine months. Nine months? One month. Okay. Fourteen months. All right. I had like a Should Casey guess? Yeah, Casey. <laughs> um 20 months. Casey takes the cake wow. with that one, so to speak. He got 63 months. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So he's still in prison. Uh, here we go. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be Devlin Thompson. Devlin. Uh, <laughs> Devlin assaulted the a Devlin himself. <laughs> <laughs> Devlin assaulted a police officer with a metal baton, and he also tried to throw a speaker at the police, but missed and ended up injuring another rioter. Mm. So does that take months off? Um, I think it's still <laughs> violence okay. and a crime. He threw a speaker or the speaker of the house? <laughs> <laughs> he Nancy hurled went Nancy. Flying. <laughs> yeah. She's petite. Speaker yeah. of the house. Yeah, the guy looks up. like an extra from Newsies. Like, <laughs> you, there's no way this is You mentally well. cut off so fast. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, I'll try this. I felt so small in that moment. Yeah. You know. I got it, though. Labors. Okay, I'm going to say 16 months. 16 I'm gonna, months. I'm going to go okay. 70. 70 months. Mm-hmm. Ooh, give me 30 months. 30 months. Casey? 45. Casey is once again correct. Wow. Uh, 46 months. Wow. wow. I, almost I can't it's believe not fair it's he less was there. than... <laughs> than <laughs> I was yeah. just watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking note of what Devlin was up to. <laughs> that looks like a Rosenberg d- brother. Oh, my God. <laughs> the third. Lonnie Leroy... Kaufman's. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie drove to the Capitol from Alabama in a pickup truck loaded with a small arsenal of Molotov cocktails, a nine millimeter handgun, a rifle, a shotgun, hundreds of rounds of ammunition, large capacity ammunition feeding devices, a crossbow with bolts, machetes, camouflage smoke detectors, and gas filled mason jars used to make napalm. Damn. <laughs> 
But then he got sleepy and ended up crashing in Charlotte. <laughs> um, I would also like to mention that he was 72 at the time wow. of his sentences and carrying two handguns at the time of arrest. Jesus. Hmm. I kind of feel bad for this guy. Am I bit. boring you? Yeah, a little bit. Shit, really? <laughs> <laughs> 71 months. Let's give him the chair. Whatever. <laughs> the judge did say I'd never seen a homemade batch of uh, weaponry to this scale. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. I mean, whatever five years is in months. I five like times you're, 12. You're on top of the math stuff pretty well. 60. Yeah. 60. You're, you're guessing 60. 60. Uh, I don't know. 40. Okay. I'm going to say community service. <laughs> <laughs> he just has to work at a preschool for a year. Kayla yeah. takes it with 40. Uh, he got 46 months, which less than Devlin. Yeah. Who fucking threw a wood. Yeah, I don't get how the first guy got the most. It seemed like his wasn't as bad as the other two. I think different juries, different judges. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Different executioners. Nicholas uh, Was that him at a Bills game? What's that? Was that just him at a Bills game? <laughs> <laughs> no way that's the front camera on an iPhone. It's like very that's sharp. a I feel like he either turned his phone around he, or it's a can like a legit camera. He looks a little bit like one of my childhood best friends. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy could be like a nice guy. Yeah. Could, I don't know. That um now. he threw various objects at police. Um and including an orange traffic barrier and two stick-like objects, uh, prosecutors claimed the items were capable of inflicting serious bodily injury, but they didn't. Yeah. Uh, which, I don't like his politics, but I'm a little bit like, how did you go to jail for that? Yeah. Um, hmm. Let's hear your guys' guesses. 30. Six months? 30? One year. Um, 14 months. Uh, Marika takes it 44 months. Only what? two months less than the guy who basically had an entire, like, third world country's army arsenal in his fucking dodge. We should wow. work to get this man out of prison. He's a hero. Oh, my God. <laughs> we do nothing for Brittany Garner or Griner, and we do everything oh for J Nicholas Languerand. Um, Jacob Anthony... Uh, Chansley, a.k.a. Guy. the QAnon shaman. Uh, <laughs> all he really did was dress like a shaman and then like kind of waltz around. Uh, but what the prosecutor said was, what you did was terrible. You made yourself the epitome of the riot. You didn't slug anybody, but what you did here was actually obstruct the functioning of the entire government, which is a serious crime. Seventy months. Thirty-six. Everything seems to be in the forties, so maybe there's some sort of precedent there. Forty months. Okay. Casey. Uh, Fifty months. Amir is correct. Forty-one months. <laughs> Greg Rubenacker. This guy just vaped on a tour of the Oval Office. That's exactly right. All he <laughs> did was smoke weed, but on Capitol grounds. And on live, it looks like. Yeah. That's his, his own Instagram. Well, that's, a that's Snapchat. That's a snap. Mm. Yeah. A Ten months. Is that yellow facial hair? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, What's happening? Because I thought that was his scarf or something. Yeah. I think it's his weird, like, fur. Okay. Like it's under under, under chin beard situation? I think it's like an animal Furry scarf. Collar Are we boring oh, you, Jeff? Okay. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's yawning. Faster would be good. <laughs> the yeah. sign of a great pod. <laughs> We're all groggy from eating sandwiches. No, this dude sure. smoked out the Capitol. So he hotboxed the Capitol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the rotunda, at least. 20 yeah. months. Okay. Oh, I said 10. 18. Okay. Casey? Uh, 24. Casey takes it for 41 months, the same as the shaman. <laughs> Here we go. Everything's in the 40s, it seems. Cleveland Meredith Jr. Oh, this guy seems kind of nice. Yes, yeah, seems it, but he's also that, doing like motocross. It's just, it's just like when they're younger, Amir's like, this guy oh, is good. Can you imagine this guy being like a sweet sort of 
nature enthusiast a little bit. I could see him being fine, and then when he's like drunk at the local dive, he starts saying racist things. Mm, I know (laughs) at a base level, I'm not gonna trust anyone. He's he he's he's sorry. He gives cuck energy. Mm, I he wishes he gives cuck energy. You're saying he's not even confident enough in his sexuality that he can't present that to his partner. No. Yeah. No. Not even. That's really sad. Yeah. Forty. Well, what did you? I didn't even say what he did. Yeah, but everyone's supposed to be good. Okay. Forty (laughs) one. Traveled from. Colorado 41. <laughs> Traveled from Colorado to attend the riot, but later told investigators that he arrived too late in the eye. <laughs> he was helping a family of ducklings cross a road in Missouri. <laughs> the day after, he sent a family member in Georgia a text message threatening to kill Nancy Pelosi. Mm. Uh, so his mother contacted the FBI Holy and ratted him out. Love that. Yeah. Love that energy. Yeah. Also, Colorado. How old is he? Shut up for a second. Col- I don't. I never understand Colorado Republicans. Hmm. Like Why? that's. I mean, there's so there's a lot of them, but I feel like Colorado is such a blue state. There's a lot of Republicans in California too. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, whatever. Um, so <laughs> forty one. Thirty five. Thirty five. Okay. Casey. So he just texted. He wasn't even there, and he and he sent a text. Yeah. Well, he was there. He arrived late. So he got there a day later. He got there on the like, ninth. Now it's time. <laughs> Went to Sparrow. But but he wasn't there insurrecting right, him. Right, no. Right, right. Um. Uh, a verbal <laughs> warning. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say nobody was correct in that one. Twenty eight months. Jeez. I said. Oh. Yeah. So this guy's in prison. Robert Chapman. Ooh, mutton chaps. Mutton Chapman. This guy seems like a nice guy. Uh, one week after January 6th, Chapman told someone on Bumble that he took part in the riot. I did storm the Capitol, he wrote in a message. I made it all the way to stati- Statuary Hall. The person Chapman confessed to then replied, we are not a match. Ordered match. three months home... De- oh, sorry. Three months. <laughs> three months. Oh, three months home three detention, months. And, then there's a- and then on top of that, he got this other sentence. Life. <laughs> the chair for the fucking beard I kind of <laughs> fucked it up 18 months probation mm. uh, this has been the price alt right take us through the thought process of making this segment do you have a google doc going with a, a bunch of possibilities did you say this once in a joke slash tweet and you said oh this could be good for a segment one day and then you backed into the rules of the game. I have found that game show parodies do well on the show, both with the audience and sometimes you guys have fun. Uh-huh. So I was like, what's a game? Yeah, what do you think went wrong this time? Mm. I... <laughs> <laughs> Can we open up for feedback? Yeah, let's spend the next you final thought... five minutes auditing me a little bit. You I got yeah. the title first, right? I thought of... Um... Wait, by the way, it's a really great title. The title yeah. is right. Title That's is correct. Yeah. yeah. And then you backed into the game based on the title. Well, I was reading the news because I also come up with segments based on news. And it was like an article about uh, all the people who had been sentenced from the January 6th riots. Uh, and I was like, oh, it'd be funny to guess. It could be funny to guess what their sentences are based on these things because a lot of these are ridiculous and they're all uh, really ugly. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I backed my way into the, the price alt right. You're probably right. Welcome to the price of Sprite. Huge. Uh, you, the price is right rules. Uh, here's what we're going to do, right? Where do you think most people consume Sprite? Of uh, a gas station. <laughs> right? I don't know about that. I would most? have gone like... Two liter. McDonald's. Yeah, really? restaurants uh, or movies or something. Bottled the Sprite. Movies. Bottled. <laughs> Bottled Sprite, yeah. Because you're talking about soda fountains, which is a different sort of economic model. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Um, Like a 20-ounce bottle, a glass bottle? What are we talking? Like, yeah, 20-ounce. Okay. I'm thinking, no, I think the, the, the driving force of the Sprite economy is a two liter. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I'd agree with that. So pizza places. Yeah. All right. Unless they're doing Pepsi. But. Well, in my head, and this whole segment was based around this, was that people mostly drink Sprite that they buy at a gas station. Sure. I'll, I'll take that. So what we're going to do is, 
<laughs> Price is Right rules, I'm going to list out five different gas stations. You're going to say what you think the cost of a bottle of Sprite is there. And okay. then I'm going to give them a call and cross-reference and get the actual answer. Okay. Wait, can... So these are all in L.A.? These are all in Los Angeles, California, yeah. Great. So there might be a little bit of a price difference, right? Uh, let's 20 start ounce? with... What's that? 20 ounce? Uh, 20 ounce. Yeah, 20 ounce. Whatever the normal one is, is that, is that 20 ounces? Yes. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Uh, 76. What do you guys got? Which one? What's that? <laughs> what area? Hollywood. 219. 219. We've got 219 from Marika. 310. 310. Amir, what do you got? 279. All right. Nine, somewhere in the nine, middle. Here ten. we go. <laughs> I'm calling them. Hey, you've reached Jake. <laughs> Hi, uh, I was just calling to see uh, how much do you guys charge for a bottle of Sprite? For what? For a bottle of Sprite. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not the. I'm not the store guy. I'm the mechanic guy. Okay. Uh, so should I just pop in then? Oh, that'd be great. Uh, it's about two, two, two something. Two something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Dan, I'm sorry. You, uh, you didn't get it. <laughs> that sales tax so was pushing me over. Let's, uh, let's give it to Amir and Marika, uh, for guessing two something, which is what they said it was. So that's exactly right. <laughs> uh, taking things over to Exxon Mobil. Uh, here we go. Uh, giving them a call. What do you guys think Exxon Mobil charges for a bottle of Sprite? Where? In Hollywood. <laughs> Two nineteen. Two nineteen. And are we sure all of these have stores in them? Uh, we are. Okay. Amir, go two seventy nine. Two seventy nine. Dane, I'm sticking with three ten. Three ten. Hi. Uh, what, what do you guys charge for a bottle of Sprite in your Quick Mart? Yeah. Uh, it's maybe three dollars some. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. 284, he said. Wow. That's going to give it to... Uh... Wait, Amir. what did you guys even say? Amir. Yeah, Amir got it closest. I feel like that's plus tax. That That's with plus tax? That's just because you want to be more right. Shell? What are you guys thinking? I mean, now I'm going to go 284. I don't think it's going to differ that much between gas station. Dane, Amir? 299. And I also think you should clarify 20 ounce bottle. 20 ounce bottle. Dane? 270. 270. Hi, uh, hey, uh, what, what do you guys charge for your 20 ounce bottles of Sprite? Sorry? What do you guys charge for your uh, bottles of Sprite in the Quick Mart? Like, how much is a bottle? For the 20 ounce for the bottle soda? Yeah. What kind of soda you need? Oh, just, just uh, a 20 ounce bottle of Sprite? Two sixty nine. Okay, thank you so much. I think that was Marika, wasn't it? Dane, no. you said two seventy. Two seventy. Dane is almost exactly correct. That's actually really impressive. Uh, Arco, what are you guys thinking? Come on, let's keep the energy high, right? I don't understand why you... the Arco. energy. Arco. Never heard of that. Arcos Arco? are great. You don't yeah, have Arco. No. But do you have Cumberland Farms? <laughs> no. But yeah, at least I'm not, not shocked at the notion of there being a regional gas station. You're like, <laughs> I wasn't what are you talking about? I wasn't shocked. You said it so weirdly. 
that I couldn't wow. hear what words you said. <laughs> wow. You know what? I try my best to make a fun game for you guys to play on a Monday afternoon. All right. The price of Sprite. I think that's kind of fun. You guys I'm are sitting at me. Time. Yeah, Marika's the only one smiling. Dane looks like he. <laughs> I'm having fun. What are you talking Dane? about? <laughs> All right. Amir looks like. Uh, yeah, whatever. I already. Yeah, this is fucked up. <clears throat> Arco, let's do it. Arco, let's do it. <laughs> Amir, what's wrong? Nothing. Just fucking call him. 259. 259. Thank you, Dane. <laughs> uh, 282. 282. Marika? Can you can you get them to actually scan it? How so? Two seventy two. Two seventy two. All right. And a reminder: this is Arco. The person you have dialed. Can't take your call now. <laughs> At the tone, please record your message. <laughs> when you have finished recording, simply hang up or press the pound key for further options. Hi, uh, I was just calling to see how much you charge for a 20 ounce bottle of Sprite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter to leave a mess. Could give me a call yeah, back. Say your phone number right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Got him. I forgot. We, I'm so now I'm nervous that we're live anytime I'm about I'm about to do this myself. <laughs> um, traumatized. Okay, Chevron, bring us home. Right, we should say that. Who's in the lead here? Right. No idea. No idea. I think not it's Marika. me. It's not. I know. I, I don't think I've gotten a single one. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Chevron, I'm gonna go fucking two nineteen again. All right. 245. Guys, the gas and fossil fuel industry is not thriving. <laughs> I, it, it honestly started a lot better than I thought it would. I thought no one was going to pick up the phone. Well, but. I think a mere one. But if it, that's incorrect, I'll fix it in post. Um, Americans really are paying at the pump for Sprite. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? I try so hard to come up with new inventive segments that that's just like, oh, like Jesse or Paul McCartney who said this shit. <laughs> You're I was calling gas segments. stations. Yes, By the it's way, bullshit. The price of Sprite is basically who said this. Jesse or Paul McCartney bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's typing. He's typing on his computer now. He's embarrassed, I guess. <laughs> He's pulling something up. What are you pulling up? Exactly what it is. Let's hear it. So long and loud. It's either the price is kite or the kite <laughs> is, is rice. rice. <laughs> is the price is rice. The kite is rice. The kite is rice. It, welcome to the kite is right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, you should have. It was a great opportunity to do a rice thing. Yeah. 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 Could have been really good. Um, I don't think it would have been. I think <laughs> if I had done that, you guys would have been like had different complaints. <laughs> this is the price of kites. Uh, <laughs> the price of kites. <laughs> I thought it was the kite as price. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> We're banking episodes, man. The price is God. kites. <laughs> this is the price of. Kites. <laughs> it's the price is right of kites. So basically, we're gonna all okay. put in our guess. Price yeah. is right rules. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, for how much we think these kites cost. Closest without going over, right? Yeah. Closest without going over. Exactly right. Uh, let's. Brad, Will, do you guys think you know the market price of kites? A hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen you more confident than anything. Other than that, I, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> I'm slightly less sure, but I'm willing to give it a go. Will is the optimist that we all need on this show. Yeah, he I might love need it. to be more of sorry. I wasn't anywhere close to done. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Will is the optimist that the show didn't beg for but needed like uh my eyes need 
radioactive frequency therapy. Yeah. I got my eyes zapped by a rod last Friday. LASIK? Worse. A cattle prod? More of like a cattle prod just underneath the eyes. Why? Basically, it's a way to stimulate the collagen underneath your eyelids uh, to kind of regenerate dead uh, tear glands. So, you know, topical anesthetic jelly that wears off after a couple seconds, so it works for a while. It feels like a nice eye massage. Zap! Your, your ass is out of the chair. You're wondering why they didn't warn you that it was going to be painful. Why did you? Do you don't have tear glands? I'm losing my lipid glands. So. What does that mean? Like, is that? The price is kite. What do we all think this kite is You can't is reveal priced? compromising medical information <laughs> and then try to yeah. pivot into a segment. You guys weaseled your way into a HIPAA, HIPAA violation I of get, my ass. <laughs> I don't appreciate it, so let's get into the game show. Okay. <laughs> all right. This kite is twelve ninety nine. Is that the kite? That's that's the kite that we're guessing first. There's a lot of other ones for the game. Twelve ninety nine. Why is it so small? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> 12, okay, Casey's guess is twelve ninety nine. Miles, <laughs> come on. Four, Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> wow. Fourteen okay. bucks. Brad, uh, it's a twenty four ninety nine dollar right. kite. Will. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> Will nailed it. <laughs> what the fuck, Conover? Are you reverse image searching, man? <laughs> I wish. I wish I could see the image that clearly. That's insane. <laughs> I don't think it's that insane. I think nine ninety nine makes standard. sense it's for like a kite. Standard yeah. price. What's yeah. that? Um, I think that's crazy. <laughs> Will is winning with nine ninety nine. Not that. Did you get that many points? Well, isn't that the thing? It's like you get the price of the item in cash on the game. I feel like I get the item, right? No, that's I think it isn't. It, works, it just no. to move on to the next round. Let's just move on, like and at has... the end, you do all the. So cash. Will's yeah. the only one who moves on. <laughs> yeah, now he's got to yeah. go play like. No, it's go. No, it's you versus Will. <laughs> Let's just all move on. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, here we go. The, uh, From this segment. Yep. <laughs> really good segment, man. This is awesome. Oh, shit. You gotta oh, do at least Riley, two here we go. <laughs> this is a, a kite surfing kite. So, oh, a little bit of context a... there. Uh, what do we think this is priced at? It's hard to tell the size of this. Is this t meant to carry a human in the air? Uh, it's meant to keep someone surfing at their will. Okay. okay. $279. Okay. Why are you mad at that? Ooh. You're out of the game. <laughs> oh you're out of the game no, for the no, album. If you guess what? that far off, you're out of the game. <laughs> no Casey, way. Wow. I'm sorry. Go, go wait in the kitchen, Miles. I'm going to go wait in the wait, kitchen. So <laughs> if you're far off. <laughs> thank you so much, Miles. <laughs> no one else does. <laughs> well, if anyone else has that bad of a guess, maybe, but I think they're all in line. So, but if I guess badly, I get to get out of the game? Yeah. This well, is a million dollar kite. <laughs> <laughs> million dollar kite. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty wrong. So actually, I think All Miles right. is back in because Casey's was so off that what? yours is contextual. Well, we're grading on a sliding scale. Well, now. I figured action sports kites got to be pricey so they know they're made of. Yeah. <laughs> There's never been more of a dud. There's never been more of a dud. <laughs> we're moving on. There was. There was a lot more of Wait, these. I didn't get to guess. There How was more than guess? any more. <laughs> oh my God. I wanted to guess. <laughs> just he just went show. through a whole that bunch. Looked, of that looked like a like a prism <laughs> design. <laughs> Why did you one get so speed spooked? Coil. I knew that one. He got too nervous. He, he got spooked for the segments. People with the wrong guesses. So thank you guys so much. We will see you next week, or we won't. It'll be interesting. Like America, this is a great experiment. Sex! Thank you.